Okay, wonderful. Here we can see a nice molecular structure. Let us add a surface that will take a little bit of time. Chain coring. So here we can see uh, the rhinoline receptor. You can see it's a tetramer. We have here in different color shades the four subunits. We're looking down the channel of this molecule right here where the ions would go through. And in particular one can nicely see the constriction that happens at this level. So I can zoom right in and go here and look what are the residues that make up this constriction. So this is an aspartate. Here it's an isoleucine. And now if you go down here, what do we have? We have a glutamate, a glutamine, sorry. So that's one of the critical residues. And I think there's an isoleucine, yeah, here. See, isoleucine and a glutamate. You can see they kind of really twirl around here, the pore. So what do we have here? The isoleucine. And then we have here the glutamine. And then I should actually select those. It's very natural and easy to see here, oops, which are the constrictions, right? Yeah. And then we can zoom all out again. And we have now our selection down there. And we can add for this selection, for instance, the hyperbos representation and put it in Van der Waals. And I can remove this surface, but now we can nicely see here in the cartoon the residues that are making up. And we have selected one, we shouldn't have selected, okay. That make up the constriction of the ion channel here, right? So, and then we have this isoleucine and just behind here, the glutamine. So, and of course they sit on the long S6 helix here, and here, and here you can see the S6 helices that make up the channel. What's also nice, if I turn this up, is you can see how we have this particular motif where helix lies flat and of course the fourfold and fourfold symmetry right at this level actually of the constriction that might have uh, its function importance and now I'm standing here right in the middle of the channel and looking through this very complex structure uh, yeah it's quite impressive actually so these parts here is the transmembrane domain. Yeah, here. And you can see this very peculiar motif. The cartoons are chain colors, so you can see how the four subunits interact. You can see here now better these S6 helices from the different subunits here. It's very long. A slightly bound helices uh, that really line uh, the channel pore.